coronavirus. <laughs> Okay guys, to get started with this look, I'm going to prime her eyelids to begin off with. I'm taking the Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair and I'm applying that all over her lids to conceal them as well as prime them. So this will allow the eyeshadows to stick a lot better and also to neutralize her lids so there's no pigment or like veins or any redness showing through that may impact the eyeshadow look. For our first eyeshadow today, I'm taking this beautiful transition color. It's a light sandy brown shade and on a very fluffy brush from Zoeva, this is the 227 uh, crease brush. I'm going to apply that through her crease. You can apply tape, however, with a downturn slash hooded eye look like this, it's actually better not to use tape to get that upward angle. It's better to have a softer faded out effect like this as tape creates a bit too much of a harsh line and with this eye shape it may come across a little too harsh. For the next shade I'm taking this deeper warm brown shade and on a petite crease brush I'm applying this on her outer V and through the crease. Again I'm following that upward angle you always want to start just before the outer corner so where her lashes are and then buff up towards the brow bone and through the crease. This will allow the eye shape to be a little bit cheated in a way so that you're actually changing the eye shape and actually creating a more upward lifted eye like this. For the bronzy tones in this look, I'm taking this beautiful shimmery bronzy brown from the Perth Travel Palette from Focalore and on a pencil brush I'm applying this along her lash line and outer V area. Then I'm taking a deeper, more coppery brown shade and applying that next to that more bronzy brown. Again with the pencil brush, I'm applying it just above so it kind of fades in. So it's more of a transition from a lighter bronzy tone into a deeper bronzy tone in the outer corner. Then I'm going in with that petite crease brush again and taking some of that warm brown shade, I'm buffing out the edges so it's nice and smoky and there's no harsh lines. Again, following that upward angle, I always want to keep the eye lifted. Next, I'm taking this incredibly stunning, uh, kind of goldy, champagne shimmery shade. This is from the Tarte Aspen Ovard Collaboration Palette. And I'm applying this on the inner third of her eye with just my finger. I didn't want anything too harsh. I didn't want to cut crease or anything. This is just a nice, bronzy, smoky eye. Then I'm taking this beautiful uh, shimmer shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette in the shade Beam. And I'm applying that to the highest point of her brow bone. So just underneath the brow to lift the eyes up. You don't want to apply it across the whole brow. Otherwise you lose that effect. And I'm also brightening her inner corners with that as well. For the liquid liner, I didn't actually have a brown liquid liner. So I went in with my Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted Liquid Lipstick. And I used that as a liquid liner today. Again, you want to make sure you're following that upward angle, so I'm cheating her eye shape again. As you can see, I'm not bringing that winged liner to her outer corners. I'm actually bringing it slightly in and flicking it upward to lift the eyes. Then I wanted to soften it a little bit, so I went in with some of that bronzy brown tone and applied that over top of those wings to just soften it. Once you've lined that liquid liner, I'm going in with lashes today. Of course, these are my favorite lashes for downturn slash hooded eyes. They're very soft and wispy. Next to line the waterline, I'm taking Espresso, which is a brown eye coal, and applying that to the outer third of her eye. And then the inner two thirds, I'm taking a nude eye coal and lining her waterline. This will cheat the eye shape again and make sure that it actually kind of lifts the eyes so it creates a shadow on the outer corner and opens up the inner corner a bit more. Then I'm going in with that deeper kind of coppery bronzy tone and I'm lining that really closely to her lash line and then buffing out with some of that warm brown tone. And then I'm going back in with some of the inner corner highlight and applying that to the bottom inner third of her eyes. And finally, you just need to finish off this eye look with some bottom lash mascara, and this is what the eyes look like. I'm so happy with how it turned out, and she really loved it. She's very skeptical of winged liner on her eyes, but she really liked having that bronzy eyeshadow over top. Otherwise, have a great, great week. I hope you had a wonderful Easter, and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.